Hey everybody, welcome back. You guys, I've gotten this question a lot, so I wanted to tackle it in this video today, and that is, what is the difference between the Fatal X, the Diesel X, and the Vital X? That's what we're gonna tackle today, and be sure to stick around for the whole video. We've got a really sweet giveaway coming up for you guys. All right, you guys, let's dive into what are the differences between Killer Instincts Fatal X, Diesel X, and Vital X. Now, before we do, you guys are noticing I've got a fourth crossbow here on the table, and that is Killer Instinct SWAT X1. The reason I brought my X1 out is because this makes up Killer Instinct's entire family of X cam crossbows. And the X cam system started on the SWAT X1. So, if you're not familiar with the X cam system, it is an awesome cam system, you guys. It is a great blend of speed and power mixed with user experience and what i mean by all that is all of these bows with the x cam are rated at 405 feet per second which seems to be just a great speed rating at least in my opinion of it. it's not super fast it's not super high draw weights it's giving you what you need while you're out hunting in the woods as far as speed and power goes but that user experience part is where these cam systems have a 50 percent let off so they're really easy to draw and they're very low sound very low vibration these are all smooth shooting crossbows. That X-Cam system is just a great blend of all of that stuff. KI has nailed it with this system. I'm really happy they brought it out from the X1 where it started to these other three crossbows. The X1 is a very different platform, if you haven't noticed. Uh, it's a bullpup design crossbow, and it also has Killer Instinct's AccuTech barrel system. That's what really sets it apart from the other three. This is a 360 degree enclosed barrel system that allows for really superior accuracy and superior broadhead flight. And with this being the entire Killer Instinct family, as it sits on the table, I also wanted to bring it out just to show you guys the X1 being KI's premium platform. This is their highest price point crossbow, and they go down in price point as we move from Fatal X, Diesel X, and Vital X. So we'll put the X1 up back on the wall and we'll focus now on these three bows. So we're talking about these three, the Fatal, the Diesel, and the Vital. Let's talk about what's the same on all of them, okay? So we already covered all of them have the X cam, all of them are rated at 405 feet per second, all of them have 50% let off, all of them have a 3.5 pound trigger, and all the triggers on these bows are really good, especially where these bows come in price point wise related to the rest of the market. They also all have Killer Instincts limited lifetime warranty, just like all KI bows. In the packages that come with them, though there's a few differences which we'll explain in the next section, they all come with three hyper arrows, a quiver, a cocking sled, field points for those arrows, and a stick of rail lube, okay? That's what is all the same on these crossbows. All right, now let's talk about what is different between these crossbows or what kind of differentiates one from the other. You guys, I want to focus on like the high level items, less some of the minor stuff. And when I say minor stuff, I'm thinking of things like draw weight, power stroke, cock versus uncocked width. Although they're a little bit different between the three bows, it's fairly minor. So take a look over on the left side of your screen. You guys, I've got a lot of information over there that differentiates these three bows. If things like those minor items are important to you, just take note of them over on the left side of the screen. So let's start with, from a high level standpoint, what differentiates the Fatal X from the other three. The Fatal X is really kind of the next tier down from the SWAT X1 as far as X cam family crossbows go from Killer Instinct. So the Fatal X has an aluminum rail. The Fatal X also has the option of a built-in crank with the Fatal X RDC. That is what this particular bow is. Um, the Fatal X is fully adjustable. So you've got a fully adjustable forend grip along a Picatinny rail system as well as a fully adjustable buttstock. As far as optics go, Fatal X standard optics are the Killer Instinct Lumix 4x32 IRE. So that is a non-adjustable reticle, but it is an illuminated reticle. However, the Fatal X, as well as the Fatal X RDC, you can order them with the Omega Optics package, which is a range finding optic where instead of like looking through a traditional optic, you're actually looking at a screen that has range finding abilities for you. So that is kind of the main things with the Fatal X. If we move to the next tier, that would be the Diesel X. So the Diesel X is a composite rail crossbow. So not aluminum, this one's composite. It's also fully adjustable. So you've got a fully adjustable forehand grip along the Picatinny rail, as well as a fully adjustable buttstock. But as far as standard optics go, this one has Killer Instinct's upgraded optics package 
with the Lumix speed ring optic. So this one is a 1.5 to 5x variable power optic and you can calibrate the magnification to the speed of your bow and that will, that will calibrate the ballistic dots inside the reticle for you from 20 all the way out to 100 yards depending on how fast your bow is shooting, how fast the diesel X is shooting with the particular arrow way that you're shooting. So that's kind of what separates the diesel from the fatal. And then if we move to the vital X, so the Vital X is also a composite rail crossbow. It is non-adjustable though. So it has a fixed forend as well as a fixed buttstock. There is still a Picatinny rail system just above the forend grip if there are some things you would want to mount to that. But as far as the actual forend goes as well as the buttstock goes, they are both fixed. And then as far as optics go, this has the Lumix 4x32. So this is also a non-adjustable optic, also non-illuminated, and it's got the line style reticle uh, with different lines for different ranges in it, where the other two have more of the dot style reticle. Uh, one other thing to note though on the Vital X is that it is essentially a full pound lighter than the other two options. So if you look at the weight of this one, this is 6.4 pounds, Diesel X coming in at 7.4, and then the Fatal X and Fatal X RDC coming in at 7.4 and 7.2, depending on if you have that integrated crank. So that from like a high level is really what separates these three crossbows from one another. As far as the Fatal X, the Diesel X, and the Vital X, you guys, you really can't go wrong with any of them. It really just depends on what you are looking for as far as price point, as well as features of the crossbows, because the nuts and bolts of them with the X-Cam system, they're all fantastic. They just got some differences that are gonna appeal to different users. So whichever one that you pick, whichever one that you think you know, has the features that you're looking for, you can't go wrong with any of them. It really just depends on your personal preference. Now that we're at the end of the video, let's talk about this giveaway, you guys. I'm really excited about this, and I hope you are too. And I just wanna give a special thanks to the folks at Killer Instinct for making this giveaway possible. So what we're doing is we're giving away a brand new, in the box, Vital X for one of you guys out there. And you, to be eligible to enter, need to be a subscriber to both channels, okay? So make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below on our channel and head on over to Killer Instinct and hit the subscribe button to their YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Be safe out there, God bless, and remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.